am an oil painter and a digital artist. Um, my style of artwork is abstract with a touch of surrealism. Um, I tend to get inspiration from my personal life and um, inspiration from the outside world for my paintings. Um, I put a lot of emotions to my paintings and any thoughts or any relationships or any like just like any emotions that I've been through I like to relate on my artwork just so um, people can relate more to me. Um, this painting right here um, meant a lot to me. You know, um, I wanted to show how two different forms of energy um, can transfer from one person to another. And that's why I like to use um, such big, like loud colors. I like to use colors to really express emotions. That's just my take on how I make my paintings. Um, so yeah, so we have two people right here just transferring the energies between each other. You can tell it's mostly coming from him and it's affecting both parties and they're just trying to figure each other out. Um, so yeah. My name is Donna Charging. I'm a member of the three affiliated tribes and I grew up in Wyoming on the Wind River Indian Reservation. I have a BFA in studio art from the University of Illinois at Chicago and I'm based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm a painter who uses collage as a way to deal with issues of cultural voyeurism and erasure through layering my imagery. With this oil painting, I used house paint as the base and created a portrait of my sister. The elements were built up and they don't usually uh, cover the entire space in my artwork because I feel like the negative space has presence. Um, with the other drawing on the panel, it's called Under All is the Land. And I was thinking about how we are all connected in New York, um, whether we realize it or not. Hi, my name is Elsie, and I'm a multidisciplinary artist from New York. And um, my pieces tend to focus on a blend of traditional and contemporary art. So as you can see from this piece, I obtain a lot of inspiration from Japanese woodblock prints. Um, specifically, the way they treat line work is something that I'm very much attracted to. And um, I also quite like interactivity. So I don't know if you could tell from here, but there's a red light that blinks and the mirror chrome is reflective. So um, when you walk towards it, you kind of become part of the piece and it forces you to kind of consider the content in relation to what's occurring presently. So um, this piece is about capital surveillance, about the NSA as well. Um, the, pe the keys on her robe are, um, and the eagle kind of represent the symbol of the NSA um, because it's an eagle holding a key. And um, the iPhone right here are, include apps that track and collect your data. And this piece right here is, a, um, is George Bush's portrait um, because he was a purveyor of the Patriot Act. And this situation right here are, is like, the, is basically a binary code for um, the last two sentences of, or last two or three sentences of 1984. Um, and the, uh, the frame itself I carved with a Dremel and spray painted it. And these eyes are essentially a symbol of someone watching you. Um, Hi, I'm India English. I am from Denver, Colorado, and I primarily work on large-scale acrylic paintings. Uh, most of my uh, paintings are about the female experience, and I draw a lot of inspiration from cinema and, like, Western themes. Uh, and I guess my goal with my work is to show how um, things that may not seem really pretty or may not seem good um, all those little pieces can come together to make a beautiful image or thing. Um, and just to show the beauty and duality. Hi, I'm Nicole Dubasky. Um, I'm an artist living in New York City. 
I work mostly in oil paint, but I do works in various... For this group show, I worked on two pieces, and this one here is a large work, 48 by 60, in oil. And it's a figurative piece, but it is abstract. This is the second piece I have in the show, uh, 30 by 40, um, also in oil. Uh, figurative piece and um, abstract. So this piece is done uh, both with a...